सो यस्टरडे हमने पढ़ा था दैट देर इज ए मिक्सर है ना एंड देन देर इज ए सेपरेटर इफ आई कंसिडर देम एज ए स्टेज सो लेट से दिस इज कंसिडर्ड एज ए स्टेज आइडियल स्टेज एंड वाई आइडियल स्टेज देर इज अ रीजन बिहाइंड इट बिकॉज इन्फाइट टाइम इन्फाइट टाइम इज प्रोवाइडेड इन्फाइट टाइम इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द सेपरेटर इन्फाइट टाइम इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द सेपरेटर सो दैट द लिविंग स्ट्रीम्स लिविंग स्ट्रीम्स अटेन इक्विलिब्रियम इन्फाइट टाइम इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द सेपरेटर सो दैट द लिविंग स्ट्रीम्स अटेन इक्विलिब्रियम सो जस्ट लाइक द टॉपिक ऑफ लेस डिस्टिलेशन इन दिस टॉपिक ऑल्सो द लिविंग स्ट्रीम विल अटेन इक्विलिब्रियम बिकॉज द इन्फाइट टाइम इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द सेपरेटर now this stream which is f which is the feed obviously we know it contains two components a and c the mole fraction of the solute is xf the second stream is let's say fed from this side obviously this is going to the mixer okay but because of the stage i am representing it in a fashion of cross current so one from this side other from this side ultimately both of them are going to the mixer so this stream is s obviously contains b and c let's say the mole fraction is ys then the leaving stream will be r obviously we know it contains a plus b plus c the mole fraction is xr and here the leaving stream is e obviously it also contains a plus b plus c and let's say the mole fraction of solute is ye so that is the representation as an ideal stage and this stage is a cross current stage okay it is a cross current stage cross current it's just a representation guys remember in reality the true stream goes to the mixer first and a mixture comes and this mixture is then fed to the separator where the two streams will separate out this is what happens in the reality but this is just the representation because with the help of this representation we will gonna make the equilibrium diagram okay so that is the funda no pranith not a right time to make the short notes let the pdc be over okay ek bar pdc hone do solve its all the previous year's question प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन से डाउट होने दो उसके बाद एक बार और रिवाइज करना एंड देन मेक द शॉर्ट नोट्स जितना मास ट्रांसफर वन में हमने पढ़ा ना उतना ही पीडीसी है है ना इट्स ए शॉर्ट सिलेबस शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट सो पूरा होने दो पूरा होने के बाद बनाना ओके सो लेट अस अप्लाई द बैलेंस द बैलेंस विल से एफ एक्स एफ प्लस एस वाई एस इज इक्व टू आर एक्स आर प्लस ई वाई ई so this is the balance that we have theek hai and we know that from the our previous concepts that the material balance of the system will give us the operating line so this is the material balance of this system it should give us the operating line so from this we can calculate the operating line but for the line what i need for the line i need the point x y hai na y is equals to mx plus c i need the point x y but here x is also xf y is ys x is xr y is y so there is no variable point so that means i have to drop the suffix of 1x and 1y in order to get in order to determine the operating line theek hai so for the operating line agar hum baat kare distillation ki we studied that in distillation distillation humne kya padha tha in distillation we studied that the streams the streams on the 
same side the streams on the same side of the tray lies on the lies on the operating line streams on the same side of the tray lies on the operating line so i'm using the same concept here same concept streams on the same side of the stage lies on the operating line so let's say if you are stage and you look at this side and now you will look at feed and the solvent because feed and the solvent are the streams that is entering into the mixer so we will look for the feed and the solvent but when you look at that side then you will see the raffinate and the extract so feed and the solvent lies on one side while the raffinate and the extract lies on the other side so i can say that points lying points lying on the operating line points lying on the operating line are xf ys and second point is xr ye so this is lying on one side and that is lying on another side okay points lying on the same side of the stage lies on the operating line so either i can drop the suffix of this point or i can drop the suffix of this point now which point to drop that depends upon the value of the unknown i will see that which of the factor is unknown to me and this is also we studied in the distillation we studied that ana maine bata aapko bataya tha ki kitna hai kitna karna hai i told you this thing both are given ye dono given hote hain hai na so kitna hai how much it is it is xf kitna karna hai xr so both are given to me xf is given to me xr is given to me and the solvent that you choose whatever the solvent is i don't know the amount of solvent but whatever the solvent we choose we know the quality of the solvent whether the solvent is pure or it may contain some c so the so solvent amount is not known but the solvent name and the solvent quality is known to me so ys is also known to me xf is known xr is known ys is known the only thing that is unknown is ye we don't know what is ye ye kya hoga wo main nahi pata so that means this coordinate contains a point which is not known while this coordinate contains both the points that are known to you so if we want to drop the suffix we will drop the suffix of the unknown coordinate so what i do i will drop the suffix of this point so this balance can be rewritten as fxf plus sys is equals to rx plus ey and then the value of y can be calculated which is minus r by e into x plus fxf plus sys divided by e so that is the operating line of the cross current extraction unit what i did i applied the mass balance component balance and i want to determine the operating line like this y is equals to mx plus c now to get the operating line in this form i need x and y so for that i need to drop the suffix but there is a confusion which suffix to drop so i used the concept of distillation that the streams on the same side of the tray lies on the operating line so on the same side when you look at the left you will see the feed and the solvent when you look at the right then you see the raffinate and the extract so one point is xfys other point is xrye so out of one you will drop the suffix which one to drop again i used the a uh, concept of distillation that whatever we have and whatever we want is known to us so xf and xr is known to us and also the solvent quality is known to me rather solvent so amount is not known but still solvent quality is known to me whether it is pure or not so ys is also known so the only unknown point in that coordinate is ye and that's how we drop the suffix of this point and we write it like this and we can determine the equation of the 
operating line. But the problem is the same problem that we face in the distillation. That look at the slope. The slope is R by E. What is R? R is the refinite. What is E? E is the extract. When a, when X is XR, then R is the final refinite molar flow rate. When Y is YE, E is the final molar flow rate. But when your XR becomes X, then your R becomes the flow rate of the refinate at each and every time. What is the meaning? That when this mixture is fed into the separator, then how the separation goes on? Heavier goes down and lighter goes up. As heavier goes down, the flow rate of R increases. As lighter goes up, the flow rate of E increases. So there is a continuous change in the flow rate of R and E. And I cannot say that the change is same. The change can be in any proportion. So basically what is happening that for all the values of X and for all the values of Y, the value of R and the value of E keeps on changing. Which means the slope of this line keeps on changing. And that's why this line is not an operating line. This becomes the operating curve like the distillation. So the same problem as we faced in the distillation, same problem we are facing here that the slope of the line that we obtained is not constant and that's why this line is not a line, it becomes a curve. And now we have to make some assumption to make it a line. Take it. So it's not note per law, but let's say if there is doubt, then push law. Please repeat why it is not a line. Okay. So cross current samaj nahi aya. Okay. How slope is changing samaj nahi aya. Okay. Sharanga cross current samaj nahi aya. Matlab cross current kya hota hai? This is cross current na. One stream on this side, one on that side, one on this side, one on this side. This is cross current representation. This is cross current representation. Okay, so I represented the extraction like a cross current, feed, solvent, refinite, extract. It's a representation. Okay, it's a representation. Okay, slope part. I'll tell you again. To understand the slope part, understand how the separation is taking place. Okay, so look at carefully. This is a separator. You are feeding a mixture M that contains all the three A plus B plus C. Obviously, at the initial time, M will go at the bottom, है ना? This is your M. So this is M. Now what happens in this M, B, and C? Both are moving up. And the A that is present at the top, that one is moving down. Okay. B and C, the two components are light. They are moving up. And A, because it's a heavy component, it is moving down. So, at the time t equals to 0, extract and refinate may have some flow rate. Anna. But at the time, let's say t equals to 5 minutes. The flow rate of E change. The refinite flow rate change. Why? Because B and C is going up. A is going down. After T is equals to 10 minutes. Again the flow rate changes. Why? Again the same. B and C going up. A is going down. Again after 10 minutes it is changing. So the flow rate of extract and the flow rate of refinate keeps on changing with the time till we achieve the equilibrium because at the equilibrium the final mole fraction of extract is ye and the final mole fraction of refinate is xr corresponding to xr the refinate flow rate is r corresponding to ye the refinate flow rate is e okay but with the time the flow rate of extract and the flow rate of refinate keeps on changing okay so let's say at t is equals to 0 there is one point of x, one point of y. At t is equals to 10 minutes, there is another point of x. One point of x is x1, one point of y is y1. At t is equals to 5 minutes, 
it is x2 y2 at t is equals to 10 minutes it is x3 y3 because the mole fraction is also changing na a is going down b and c going up so it is affecting the mole fraction again at t is equals to 20 minutes it is x4 y4 so all the x and all the y i represented them with a variable x and the variable y so what is this x from t is equals to 0 so t is equals to infinite the composition of the refinite flow rate is represented by x from t is equals to 0 to t is equals to infinite the composition of the extract flow rate is represented by y so for this whole composition range the refinite will also have some range extract will also have some range so basically it is not just the flow rate that i am dividing i am dividing the range of refinite with the range of extract so if x becomes x1 y becomes y1 then r becomes the flow rate at the time t is equals to 0 in the same way x becomes x2 y becomes y2 r becomes the flow rate at t is equals to 5 minutes x becomes x3 y becomes y3 r becomes the flow rate at t is equals to 10 minutes and so on so based on this x and y there will be different value of r and e okay like in the distillation i represented y as yn plus 1 I represented x as x n plus one. Here I am not representing them as n plus one, but the meaning of y is same because y is not fixed. Basically, it is representing all the mole fractions from t is equals to zero to t is equals to infinite time. So, if it is representing all the mole fraction, then this r will also represents all the molar flow rate of the refinite, and this e will represent all the molar flow rate of the extract, and that is why. i am saying that the slope is changing for a different x and different y there will be a different slope and that is why this is not a line it's a curve how we drop suffix is very easy i use the fund of distillation that the streams on the same side lies on the operating line so basically this is one side and that is other side so i got the two coordinates and then i use the funda that ड्रॉप तो उसके करेंगे ना जो अननोन होगा नॉन पॉइंट के तो ड्रॉप नहीं करेंगे सो एक्स एफ एंड वाई एस बोथ हैव नोन टू मी बट एक्स आर एंड वाई बोथ आर नॉट नोन आउट ऑफ देम वाई इज अननोन तो जो अननोन है उस कोऑर्डिनेट के करेंगे भले एक अननोन हो उस कोऑर्डिनेट के करेंगे यहां तो दोनों नोन है इसके नहीं करेंगे सो दैट्स वाई एक्स रिमेन्स एक्स एफ वाई रिमेन्स वाई एस बट आई ड्रॉप द सफिक्स हेयर टू गेट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ लाइन सो आई हैव टू यूज द कंड ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन और अगर आपने डिस्टिलेशन पढ़ा है तो ये याद होगा सर इफ स्लोप इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वाई एस एंड वाई आर सेम फॉर ईच स्टेज इफ स्लोप इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट देन वाई एस एंड वाई आर सेम फॉर ईच स्टेज ईच स्टेज देर इज ओनली वन स्टेज गाइज बिकॉज देर इज ओनली वन स्टेज नॉट एवरी स्टेज देर इज ओनली वन स्टेज can we say extraction is always equilibrium operation or carried out at its desired separation yes pranith you can say the first line that extraction is always an equilibrium operation and then you can also say the second line and carried out at desired separation but between the operation and carried put and don't put or because both the statements have different meaning hai na okay guys so that is a funda that why it becomes an operating curve now our purpose is to make it a line ab ise line banana hai so to make it a line there is one assumption that we use and what is that assumption that assumption is a and b are completely completely immiscible yesterday i told you that this is not possible and that's why i'm saying that an assumption a and b are completely immiscible so what is your advantage the advantage is if a and b are completely immiscible then this mixture in this mixture a will remain at the bottom b will remain at the top as they are completely immiscible as they fed into the separator 
instantly they separate out okay so what will happen there is only movement of c from the refinite side to the extract side whatever the b is there that is at the top whatever the a is there that is at the bottom only the movement of c will takes place but because of this movement of c also the extract flow rate and the refinite flow rate mole fraction and their flow rate keeps on changing so c ki movement ki wajah se bhi flow rate change kar raha hai theek hai but whatever the values of a and b the values are same because a and b are completely miscible so this is the assumption and second thing that we have to do is not an assumption it's just change of approach change of approach hame approach change karni hai change of approach from mass fraction to mass ratio okay we have to change our approach from mass fraction to mass ratio what is the meaning in the mass fraction what i am doing i am calculating the value of moles of c or mass of c with respect to the total mass this is my x in the same way in the case of y i am doing this b plus c hai na this is y e and this is xr basically because a and b are completely miscible so in the refinite there will be no b in the extract there will be no a but in the mass ratio what i am doing i am comparing c not with the total solution but with the a only and i am comparing c not with the total solution but with the b only so this is my this is my new approach mass fraction to mass ratio or mole fraction to mole ratio this is the approach that i'm using here okay so with the help of first assumption i curved the movement of a and b but only the c is moving and with the help of the change of approach i am looking for the ratio of a and b only not c because if i change my approach from mass fraction to mass ratio then basically i am not looking at c i am just looking at a and b okay so what i am doing see carefully dhyan se dekhna samajh aa jayega aapko f x f plus s y s is equals to r x r plus e y e that is the initial balance what is the meaning the meaning is a plus c in the feed into c by a plus c in the feed plus b plus c in the solvent into c by b plus c in the solvent is equals to a plus b plus c in the refinite into c by a plus b plus c in the refinite plus a plus b plus c in the extract multiply by c by a plus b plus c in the extract so this is the original this is the original component balance now after the first assumption what is the assumption a and b are completely miscible after the first assumption what is the change the change is a plus c in the feed c by a plus c in the feed plus b plus c in the solvent into c by b plus c in the solvent is equals to a plus c there will be no b in refinite c by a plus c in the refinite plus b plus c in the extract there is no a in the extract c by b plus c in the extract so that is what happens after the assumption this is what happens after the assumption and if we change the approach then see what happens if i change the approach then the same balance can be written as a in feed 
C by A in feed plus B in solvent into C by B in solvent is equals to A in refinate into C by A in refinate plus B in extract into C by B in extract. So that is the meaning of changing the approach from mass fraction to mass ratio. This is also known as the solute free approach. Solute free approach. Hello? That when I am looking at the solution, I am not looking at the total solution of A plus C. I am just looking at A. So in the total refinate or total feed, I am looking at A only and I am comparing with the A only. In the total solvent, I am looking for B and I am comparing with the B. In the refinate also, I am looking for A and comparing with A. I am looking for B, comparing with B. So basically, I am not focusing on the C. I changed my approach from the normal approach to the solute free approach. And all the three steps are basically same because what is the meaning of the first step? Don't you think the meaning of the first step is C in feed plus C in solvent is equals to C in refinate plus C in extract. And look at the meaning of the second point. Don't you think the meaning of the second point is same? Look at the third point. Don't you think the meaning of the third point is same? So basically, I am not altering the mass balance. The mass balance in all the three steps are same. I am just making the assumption and changing my approach. But both of these steps are not altering the mass balance. And if both of these steps are not altering the mass balance, that means I am 100% correct conceptually that I can make these changes. Because by making these two changes, I can solve my problem of operating curve and I can convert that into a line. Okay. So that is how we change our operating curve into operating line by the help of an assumption that A and B are completely miscible and the solute free approach. Please repeat the first assumption. It's written Shiranga. A and B are completely miscible. And what is the meaning that A and B are completely miscible? That there will be no movement of A from the top to bottom. No movement of E from the bottom to top. Why? Because the whole B is present at the top and whole A is present at the bottom. So there is no need to separate A and B. A and B are separated automatically. Why are we changing the approach? You will get to know Vishek. And what is the change of approach is very simple. Don't look for C. Solute free. Matlab solute ko mat dekho. It is solute free. Don't see solute. So when you are measuring the refinate, what is your refinate actually? Your refinate is A plus C. And what is feed? Feed is also A plus C. Don't look for C. If you don't look for C, it becomes solute free. If you don't look for A, it becomes refinate free. If you don't look for B, it becomes solvent free. So what I am doing, I am taking it as solute free. Don't look for C. So look for A only. So look for A, compare with A. Look for B, compare with B. That is solute free. Is it all the solute free? That is what I repeated with Garsh. Look for A, compare with A. Look for B, compare with B. That is known as the solute free approach. If I say the refinite free approach, then we will leave A and look for the other component. If I say the solvent free approach, I will not look for B and will look for the other component. So, if you free to do it, let it be free. It will be free. So, one thing to remember that if you don't alter the mass balance, then whatever you are doing is correct. I am not altering the mass balance. 
and that's why whatever I'm doing is correct. So the first balance can be written as this balance. Now this balance are named as RS X naught plus ES Y naught. You can say naught naught or you can also say this is XF and YS is equals to RS XR plus ES YE. So this balance can be written as this. What is RS? RS is the flow rate of A only. What is ES? ES is the flow rate of B only. What is capital Y? Capital Y is the flow rate of C to the flow rate of A uh, of B. And what is capital X? Flow rate of C to the flow rate of A. So this is the meaning. Huh? You can say what is RS? RS is A. What is A? When I write the flow rate of A. E S K B flow rate of B. And capital X kya tha C by A. Capital Y kya tha C by B. So this is what I written. So I change the balance. ठीक है new notations. So, ये सब कुछ you can never understand with the help of book, and that's why it is very important to discuss that in class. Still, all of this does not have a relevance in gate because in the gate we start from this line. यहाँ से start करते हैं gate के लिए, but all of these fundamentals are required. How to obtain the operating curve, then how to change the operating curve into operating line. ठीक है? So, our first point to start is this, and this balance is known as solute free balance so in the gate what is important for us is solute free balance So our starting point is this RS XF plus ES YS is equals to RS XR plus ES YE and the suffix that we draw we already know we drop the suffix of XR and YE and the value of Y that we get is minus of RS by ES into X plus RS XF plus ES by ES divided by ES. So this is the line that we get. And look at the slope. The slope is minus of RS by ES. What is RS? Flow rate of A only. What is ES? Flow rate of B only, and because A and B are completely miscible, the flow rate of A and flow rate of B are same throughout the process. So for every x and every y, the flow rate of A and the flow rate of B remaining the same. The flow rate of refinement is changing. The flow rate of extract is changing because of the change in the composition of C, because of the movement of C. But the flow rate of A and the flow rate of B are remaining the same. So that is the advantage. We converted the operating curve into the operating line. Okay, so that is a funda.
तो ये नोटेशन सब लिख लेना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सारी नोटेशन ये तो मैं पता होनी चाहिए कि वट इज आर एस ई एस वाई एन एक्स ओके सो द पॉइंट दैट लाइज ऑन दी ऑपरेटिंग लाइन आर कौन से पॉइंट्स थे एक्स एफ वाई एस एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट एक्स आर वाई ए क्विकली टेल मी वट आर द पॉइंट दैट लाइज ऑन द इक्वलिब्रियम लाइन वो कौन से पॉइंट है जो इक्वलिब्रियम पे लाई करते हैं वाई ई एन एक्स आर यस अगेन द फंड ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन द लिविंग स्ट्रीम आर इन इक्वलिब्रियम एंड वट आर द लिविंग स्ट्रीम द लिविंग स्ट्रीम आर एक्स आर एंड वाई ई सो दे आर द लिविंग स्ट्रीम्स दैट लाइज ऑन द इक्वलिब्रियम एंड यू कैन सी दैट एक्स आर एंड वाई ई लाइज ऑन द ऑपरेटिंग ऑल्सो एंड एक्स आर एन वाई ई लाइज ऑन द इक्वलिब्रियम ऑल्सो सो दिस पॉइंट लाइज ऑन द बोथ इट मीन वॉट इट मीन ग्राफिकली बोथ द लाइन विल इंटरसेक्ट ठीक है यहां से एक बात पता लग गई दैट ग्राफिकली ग्राफिकली बोथ द लाइन्स विल इंटरसेक्ट एट एक्स आर एंड वाई ई So this is your x. This is your y. What is x? C by a. What is y? C by b. The first step is always to plot the equilibrium curve. An equilibrium curve lies above the diagonal, as discussed in the two film theory. Let's say it is y is equals to m x. Then the second step. we discuss that in the two film theory as well as in the distillation the second step is to plot the known points so what are the known points kitna hai kitna karna hai these are the known points how much it is how much we want to do in the distillation we plotted xf and the xd so xf and xd are known in distillation here xf and xr is known so in the feed the solute is present in a very good amount but i want to reduce it to some lower amount that's why xr is near to the origin and xf is away because the feed contains a lot of solute and i want to remove it and the solvent that you are using the quality of that solvent is also known let's say this is ys near to the origin why because the solvent contains either no solute or maybe very less amount of solute so for the operating line the first point is xf ys so this is ys and this is xf this is the first point now xr ye xr ye you know xr you know xr but do you know ye yes how with the help of equilibrium xr ye are in equilibrium so if you know xr you can determine ye so with the help of xr we can determine ye This is y e because x r y e lies on the equilibrium curve and x r y e also lies on the operating line. So that means this is another point of operating line. So this is one point of operating line. This is another point you can join. Okay, and when you join, you can determine the slope. And with the help of this tangent theta. you can determine the slope and that slope is equals to what that slope is equals to minus of rs by es slope is known rs is known es can be calculated 
So the basic aim of the question is to calculate the solvent flow rate and that solvent flow rate can be calculated. Okay, so this is your equilibrium diagram. You can make it. Again, the steps that I used is same as the steps that I used in the distillation and in the two film theory, the same steps. First of all, the equilibrium curve, it is lying above the diagonal. Why? Because of solute, we want to be more in the extract than in the refinite. Or if extract mein solute is more hai, y mein zada hai, to jo line hai wo equilibrium ke, wo diagonal ke upar aayegi. So first of all, the curve, then the known point, kya known point hai? XF and XR. Kitna hai, kitna kar rahe hai? Known. So you plotted XF, you plotted XR. You plotted XF away from origin because feed contains a lot of solute. You plotted XR near to the origin because the refinite contains a very less amount of solute. You also plotted YS that is a solvent quality known to you near to the origin because solvent is generally pure. But if it contains C, the amount of C will be very less. With the help of XR, you determine YE, Y because with respect to XR, Y is in equilibrium. So we determine this point. Now XR, YE as well as XFYS lies on the operating line. You joined both the points and hence you can determine the slope which is minus RS by ES. Ten theta is known, RS is known, ES can be calculated. So note down a question. A feed contains a feed contains 1000 a feed contains 1000 kilogram per hour contains nahi uh, cutter is line ko 1000 kilogram per hour of feed flow rate is tarah se likho 1000 kilogram per hour of the feed flow rate is given to an extraction unit 1000 kilogram per hour of the feed flow rate is given to an extraction unit is given to an extraction unit given to an extraction unit where where me which which contains which contains 20% of c which contains 20% of C, 20% of C, full stop. It is desired to remove, it is desired to remove, it is desired to remove 90% of C, it is desired to remove 90% of C from the feed. It is desired to remove 90% of C from the feed. For this purpose, for this purpose, a pure solvent is used. For this purpose, a pure solvent is used. If the equilibrium relation, if the equilibrium relation is given as capital Y equals to twice of capital X. If the equilibrium relation is given as capital Y is equals to twice of capital X, where capital Y is the mass of C to the mass of B, where capital Y is the mass of C to the mass of B, and capital X is the mass of C to the mass of A. And capital X is the mass of C to the mass of A. Then determine, then determine, 
then determine the solvent then determine the solvent flow rate then determine the solvent flow rate so do it guys do it fast i gave shiranga the meaning of y and x you can see in the graph huh? meaning of y is c by b meaning of x is c by a i mentioned the meaning and then i said find out the solvent flow rate So you can check your answer guys. Pintalis so kilogram per second nahi. Unit sum mein same agar mene kuch bol diya second vagara to same rakhna R hi hai sab kuch. Har jage R given hai to R or second ka koi funda nahi hai. Okay. Everywhere it is kilogram per hour. So that is what you need to do. ये काम करना है इसे बोलते हैं सोल्यूट फ्री अप्रोच फाइंड आउट सी फाइंड आउट ए एंड यूज द फंडा वट इज कैपिटल एक्स सी बाय दे आर सेइंग 90 परसेंट यू हैव टू रिमूव सो हाउ मच इज लेफ्ट 10 परसेंट जस्ट 200 था कितना रह गया ट्वेंटी विल देयर बी एनी चेंज इन ए नो बिकॉज ए एंड बी आर कंप्लीटली मिसिबल सो ए विल बी रिमेनिंग द सेम एट सो यू हैव एक्स आर ऑल्सो you know have xr you have xf you know ys calculate ye join it calculate the slope equate with the minus rs by es 
and calculate years very simple 500 pranit it is 3600 xf kaise xf there are kind of small xf 20% 20% is given that contains 20% of solute ye kaise abhi to bataya tha with respect to xr ye is in equilibrium so xr to main pata hai ye nikalna hai equilibrium equation you know put xr what is xr 1 by 40 2 into 1 by 40 is what 1 by 20 na At least I expect this much guys from you. कि आप अगर XR दे रखे हैं, Y निकालने के लिए हमसे equation भी दे रखी है, तो at least निकाल सको। अब इतना भी करना पड़ेगा क्या? ये लो। क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट सॉल्यूशन या क्वेश्चन लिखो 1000 किलोग्राम पर आर ऑफ द फीड इज टू बी फेड टू ए गिवन एक्सट्रैक्शन यूनिट दैट कंटेंस 20% ऑफ सी it is desired to remove 90% of C from the feed and for this purpose a pure solvent is used. The equilibrium relationship is given as capital Y equals to capital 2X where the capital Y is given as the mass of C to the mass of B and capital X is given as the mass of C to the mass of A. Determine the flow rate of the solvent. So is it clear to you guys? If yes, then let me know. What is 20% of 1000? 200 and 1000 minus 200? 800. सेकंड लाइन पढ़ो क्वेश्चन की बोल के 90% ऑफ सेपरेशन इट इज डिजायर्ड टू सेपरेट 90% ऑफ सी सो इफ 90% हैव बीन सेपरेटेड हाउ मच इज लेफ्ट 10% सो हाउ मच इट इज प्रेजेंट इनिशियली सो व्हाट इज 10% ऑफ 200 20. The moles of A will remain the same because A will not change, B will not change. So that's why the XR is 1 by 40. Okay, so great. So the solution is by the graphical approach. This is the graphical approach. Oh. Okay, this is the graphical approach. But in the gate, there is one more approach by the help of which you can solve the question. And that approach is known as equilibrium approach. Equilibrium approach. So no need to make the graph, no need to calculate the slope. Just use the equilibrium. What is equilibrium? Y equals to 2x. And the point that lies on equilibrium is ye equals to twice of xr. What is ye? It is c by b in the extract at equilibrium. What is xr? c by a in the refinate at equilibrium. So how much is c present in the final refinate? 20. How much is a present in the final refinate? 800. How much is C present in the extract? If 20 is present here, 180 must be present here. Divide by B. So what is B? It is 180 into 800 divided by 
forty. Thirty six hundred. So this is what you can do in the gate. It will take you less than thirty seconds to solve. So that is known as equilibrium approach. So you can solve by using the equilibrium approach also. Total kitna tha? Ya kitna hai? Bacha kitna? Wo upar hai. So in the gate there may be two types of question. One of the type is the desired separation is given to you, and they will ask the amount of solvent. So desired separation is given to you, they can ask to the amount of solvent, and the reverse. Reverse कैसा होगा? They will give you the amount of solvent, and the separation will be asked like this. Y is equal to two x. Equilibrium says y is equal to twice of x r. This is C by B in the extract, and this is C by A in the refinite. So now, what is given? The amount of B is given. The amount of A is given, but the separation is not given. So what you do? You will say, let's say X amount have been remaining here. X amount is been remaining here. Then what is the amount that is transferred? Two hundred minus X. Because the desired separation is not given, so what do you say? If x amount is remaining in the refinite, then 200 minus x will get separated in the extract. And then what you do? You calculate the value of x. Okay. And if you solve, x will come out to be 20. And then, if you want to calculate the percent separation. Then you can calculate by this. So you can do solve by this also. Atisha, repeat which one? First one or second one? The last one. Listen, what I said. I said here the percent separation is given. Amount of B is asked, but here I am changing. The amount of B is given. The percent separation is asked. So X is the amount left in the refinite. Then 200 minus X is the amount. That is transferred to the extract. You calculated x, then you calculated the percent separation. Initial minus final by initial into hundred. Extraction is very easy, guys. It is just the mass balance. Now in the question number one. Keeping everything same, if you change the equilibrium relation from y equal to two x to y equal to four x, then what will happen? The amount of B comes out to be. Eighteen hundred kilogram per hour. Okay, so if we changed the 
if we change the slope of equilibrium curve if we change the slope of equilibrium curve then amount of solvent required changes ठीक है सो द स्लोप ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम कर्व इज नोन एज द पार्टीशन कोफिशियंट और समटाइम्स नोन एज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कोफिशियंट So the partition coefficient or distribution coefficient doubles, then the solvent requirement gets halved. That is the concept. If the partition coefficient or distribution coefficient gets doubled, then the solvent requirement gets halved. नेक्स्ट नोट डाउन काउंटर करंट एक्सट्रैक्शन सो अगेन द स्टेज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस दिस इज फीड आरएस एक्सएफ दिस इज द रेफिनेट आरएस एक्सआर नाउ द सॉल्वेंट इज नॉट फ्रॉम दिस साइड सॉल्वेंट इज फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिट साइड from here it's the es ys and the es ye so that is known as the counter current extraction again remember guys it is just a representation mm -hmm. ultimately the feed and the solvent will mix in the mixer and the mixture will goes into the separator where the separator gives the refinate and the extract so the real process will be same just the representation here is different okay so guys tell me fast what is the point that lies on the equilibrium curve which point will lie on the equilibrium curve equilibrium equilibrium pe kaun sa point lying lie karega एक्स आर वाई ई वेरी गुड लिविंग स्ट्रीम्स आर इन इक्विब्रियम सेम फंडा इज दैट ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन नाउ गैस टेल मी वट पॉइंट लाइव ऑन जोन द ऑपरेटिंग लाइन ऑपरेटिंग लाइन पे कौन लाइव करेगा फास्ट ऑपरेटिंग लाइन पे एक्स एफ एंड वाई एस ओके एक्स एफ वाई एस ओके एक्स एफ वाई ई एंड एक्स आर वाई एस ओके सो सम ऑफ यू आर राइट सम ऑफ यू आर रोंग अगेन द फंडा इज वेरी सिंपल पता नहीं आप बार बार भूल क्यों जाते हो द फंडा इज वेरी सिंपल स्ट्रीम्स ऑन द सेम साइड लाइज ऑन द ऑपरेटिंग लाइन सो दिस इज स्टेज लेट्स ए यू आर स्टेज लुक एट दिस साइड क्या दिख रहा है उस तरफ मुझे क्या दिख रहा है I'm looking at XF and YE. एंड वाई ई मुझे ये दोनों दिख रही है और इस तरफ देखे तो क्या दिख रहा है इस तरफ देखे तो एक्स आर और वाई एस सो दीज टू आर ऑन द सेम साइड एंड दोज टू आर ऑन द सेम साइड इनकमिंग आउट गोइंग की बात नहीं हो रही यहां पर सेम साइड की बात हो रही है बहुत ईजी कंसेप्ट है डोंट मेक मिस्टेक स्ट्रीम्स ऑन द सेम साइड लाइज ऑन दी ऑपरेटिंग सो एक्स एफ वाई ई and x r y s theek hai so
सो वेन यू मेक ए बैलेंस एंड कैलकुलेट एवरीथिंग वो हम नहीं कर रहे बार बार रिपीट जो स्लोप आएगा काउंटर के केस में मैं लिखवा देता हूं डायरेक्टली द स्लोप इज आर एस बाई एस इट इज पॉजिटिव इन द केस ऑफ काउंटर करेंट द स्लोप इज पॉजिटिव इट विल बी सेम बट इट इज पॉजिटिव ओके सो नो नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट लेट्स गो फॉर द ग्राफ This is x. What is x? C by a. This is y. What is y? C by b. Equilibrium curve like this. Xf is known. Xr is known. Ys is known. यहाँ तक सब सेम है. Thus, यहाँ तक everything is same as that of the cross current. Now look at the operating line. What is your first operating point? Your first operating point is Xf ye, you have Xf, yes. Do you have ye? No. Second part there, Xr ys. Do you have Xr? Yes. Do you have ys? Yes. This point is known to us. So this is the point that is known to us. Now come on to the equilibrium. Xr is known to you. Yes. Can you calculate ye? Yes. Because x and y are in equilibrium, so we can calculate that from equilibrium. Now y is known, x f is known. This is also one point. Yes. So this is also one point that lies on the operating line. Both of these lies on the operating line. Yes. So that means by joining the both, I can determine the slope. so this is the slope and again this tangent theta will be equals to rs by ts so that is a graph guys very simple Y is calculated using equilibrium. Yes, yes, Shiranga. X R and Y E are in equilibrium. X R is known. Then Y E can be calculated at equilibrium. So, guys, solve the same question by using the concept of. counter current same numerical same data solve it by using the fund of counter current so are you getting the answer yes so this proves that same answer proves that 
that the counter current and the cross current are just the representation ye sirf representation hai in the reality both the streams enters the mixer a mixture gets formed that mixture sent to the separator and then you can achieve the separation so it is just the representation you do it cross current wise you do it counter current wise the operation is same the funda is same so that's why in the gate exam whether it is mentioned counter current or it is mentioned cross current or it is not mentioned anything then the approach of solving is same or cross current mentioned or counter current mentioned or ya kuch bhi mention na ho the approach of solving the question is same theek hai so ye baatein likh lena now tell me what is more important to you okay there is a question sir xr and ye will always equilibrium point right pranit tum apne dil ko tasalli dene ke liye puch rahe ho i told you that extraction in the extraction infinite time is given if infinite time is given the leaving streams comes in equilibrium and that's why the xr and ye are in equilibrium so yes they are in equilibrium <laughs> हो गई तसली आपको ओके सो टेल मी गाइस व्हिच इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू इक्विलिब्रियम और डिजायर सेपरेशन व्हाट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इक्विलिब्रियम और डिजायर सेपरेशन Sharanga, you can aim high. No doubt about that. But you have to wait for the infinite time. Then equilibrium means infinite time has to be provided. So if you are ready to wait for the infinite time, you can aim high. Atisha, I told that in the cross current as well as in the counter current. the answers of the solvent amount are same which shows that they are just the representation of the same process process is same representation are different but change in representation doesn't changes the process doesn't changes the data so in the gate whether it is mentioned cross or counter or it is mentioned nothing the approach of solving the question is same this is what i mentioned <laughs> yeah pranitya but sharanga changed his decision ha huh? sharanga is also saying now desired separation we don't want equilibrium we want desired separation and yes we don't want equilibrium we want desired separation guys look at the answer you haven't analyzed the answer the answer is 3600 what is the feed flow rate the feed flow rate is 1000 and what is the amount of solvent 200 so to remove 200 kg per hour out of 200 how much you want to remove 180 to remove 180 kg per hour of the solute how much solvent you are using 3600 how much it is 20 times the solute amount is 180 the feed amount is 1000 but to removal you are using 20 times the solvent of the amount of solute and 3.6 times the sol solvent of amount of feed just think about that don't you think that the solvent used is just too much theek hai bahut zyada solvent use kar rahe ho 3.6 times the amount of feed and 20 times the amount of solvent you are using so much of solvent and if the solvent is not cheaper then using that much amount will not be favorable it is not the optimized okay so sometimes to achieve equilibrium not only you have to spend time but you have to spend money also equilibrium tak jaane ke liye kai baar aapko time ke sath sath money bhi spend karna padta hai and that is not favorable so what do we do now 
we make it favorable by using the funda of optimization optimization So look at now very very carefully, otherwise you will say sir repeat. This is Macap Thile. Macap Thile to aata aapko ha. Main Macap Thile se extraction ka diagram banaunga. Okay, look at Macap Thile. What is the first step? Equilibrium curve. Okay, so let us plot the equilibrium curve. Here also, I will plot the equilibrium curve. What is the second step in the Macap Thale? Plotting the known points XF and XD. Plotting the known points XF and XD. Here also, I will plot the known points XF, XR. What is the next step here? With respect to XD, we calculated YD. How? By the operating line. Okay. This is we calculated by the operating line. Same here. With respect to XR, and now we calculate YS. How? By the operating line. Because XR and YS lies on the operating line. Bilkul same chal raha. Okay. Then, what you did? With respect to the feed, Anna, here the types of feed are different. So I am comparing it for the saturated liquid. So what you did with respect to the feed, you calculated the point on the equilibrium. Okay, and this point becomes x dash y dash. So with respect to the feed, you calculated the point at the equilibrium. Same with respect to the feed, I will calculate the point at the equilibrium. Okay, then what you did in the Macapthale, you joined that point with that point. What I do here, I will join that point with this point. Then what you did, you checked the slope, you checked the slope, you checked the theta and then you state that we cannot take less theta. Isse kam theta nahi le sakte. And that's why the slope is the minimum slope. So tangent theta in this case is minimum. Because you cannot take the less slope less than that. Same I will check here. This is theta. Can you take theta less than that? Yes, I can. Can I take theta more than that? No. Because if I take theta more than that, it will cross the equilibrium. I cannot take theta more than that. So the slope of the line that I have here is maximum. Then what I did, I compared it with the slope which is r by r plus 1 minimum. Same. I compare the slope. And what is the slope of operating line? The slope of operating line is RS by ES and this RS by ES is maximum because the slope is maximum. Now if R by R plus 1 is minimum it means what? It means R is minimum. If RS by ES this ratio is maximum and RS is always given, RS is fixed, RS is known. Agar ye known hai aur ye ratio maximum hai, iska matlab kya hai? The meaning is ES is minimum. So the meaning of this is ES is minimum. Because if ES is minimum only then the ratio is maximum. After having R mean what you did? You multiplied R mean with 1.5 to calculate 
the R optimum. Okay. I am taking the value 1.5. What you will do now? You have ES minimum. Multiply this with 1.5. You will have ES optimum. Then what you did? You calculated the slope again. R optimum divided by R optimum plus 1. Compared it with the 10 theta and calculated the theta optimum. I will do the same. I will calculate ES optimum, RS by ES optimum, compare it with the 10 theta and will calculate the theta optimum. Then what you did? With respect to this theta optimum, you make another line with theta optimum. This is theta optimum. Same here. With the new theta, I will make another line having a slope of theta optimum. And then you can also calculate the y coordinate of this point. Here also, I can also calculate the y coordinate of this point. And the y coordinate of this point is ye. Here in the distillation, the separation remaining the same xf to xd. Here in the extraction, the separation remaining the same xf to xr. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to calculate the optimum solvent that we have already calculated, if you want to calculate the solvent exit, that also we have calculated. So this is known as optimization. So I optimize the extraction with the help of distillation. So each and every single step that I used in the macap thale, I use the same step in the extraction to optimize the operation. So if you have a diagram, you don't have to remember the other one because the other one is going to be made. You can note it down. Sir, please explain how ES is minimum. RS fix hai. Numerical ki baat kare to what is RS? 800. 800 by ES. Now if 800 by ES is maximum sharanga, you think, agar ye ratio maximum hai, tell me, ki ye value kya hoge fir? Ye to fix hai, 800 hai. According to the numerical data, this is fix. If this is fix, numerator is fixed. And numerator by denominator is maximum. इसका एक ही मतलब है कि डिनोमिनेटर मिनिमम होगा, because when the denominator is minimum, then only the numerator by denominator is maximum. So that is why the ES is minimum. Yes, शिरंगा, आपने आंसर दे दिया। Okay, so एक बार R optimum कैलकुलेट करने के बाद, please tell. After calculating R optimum, we calculated the slope and we draw the line again. After calculated ES optimum, we calculated the slope and we draw the line again. Ketan is asking now why XR and YE are not in equilibrium here. Ketan, because we are not gunning for the equilibrium this time, we are gunning for the desired separation. So here the XR and YE may or may not be in equilibrium hai, but hume, we are not waiting for the infinite time here we are waiting just for a given period of time so XR and YE may or may not be in equilibrium but what is most important to you is the desired separation and what is desired separation XF to XR there is no need to use multiple stages Ketan you need XF to XR you are getting XF to XR अगेन मैंने ये सब समझाने से पहले आपसे पॉइंट पूछा था सबसे आपके लिए ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है इक्विलिब्रियम में डिजायर सेपरेशन आप सबने खुद बोला था डिजायर सेपरेशन सो दिस इज डिजायर सेपरेशन ना एक्सएफ टू एक्सआर इफ 90% सेपरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड यू अचीव्ड 90% सेपरेशन व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम देन 
बेसिकली यू नीड नाइंटी परसेंट सेपरेशन यू आर गनिंग द नाइंटी परसेंट सेपरेशन ओके इफ यू आर अचीविंग इट बिफोर इक्म इट्स गुड In the previous question, the ES we calculated as thirty six hundred. Was it ES min? No, Vikas. No, that has nothing to do with the ES min. Last in the last question, we solved the question by using the equilibrium approach, and here we are solving it by using the optimization approach. यहाँ पे मैं optimization का funda use कर रहा हूँ. What is the point about y e in x axis? Sharanga, look at the mechanically. This is the actual operating line, means this is the actual y coordinate. This is the ideal operating line. This is the ideal y coordinate. If ideal y coordinate here is y dash, then this is the actual y. In the same way, if this is the actual y, then what is this? This is ideal y, y star, or you can say the theoretical. It is a theoretical value. Theoretical, theoretical value, theoretical value that never exist. Theoretical value that never exist in reality, but mathematically correct. So above y, e, what point is? A theoretical point is. जो सच में एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता बट इट इज मैथमेटिकली करेक्ट बिकॉज इक्विलिब्रियम इज मैथमेटिकली करेक्ट इन फर्स्ट केस वी फाउंड सेपरेशन फ्रॉम सोलवेंट रिक्वायरमेंट नो केतन इन फर्स्ट केस वी फाउंड द सोलवेंट रिक्वायरमेंट बाय यूजिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम एंड इन द सेकेंड केस we are finding the solvent requirement by using the concept of optimization <coughs> tenth theta max q hua jabki wahan par tenth theta minimum hai <coughs> adisha ratna thodi na hai ki kaha minimum hai kaha maximum hai maine bataya tha is time pe bhi jab ye distillation padi thi tab bhi bataya tha ki ye line can this line cross equilibrium kya isse upar ja sakti hai kya ye equilibrium cross kar sakti hai the answer is no इट कैन नॉट क्रॉस इक्म तो इससे ऊपर नहीं जा सकते हम नीचे आ सकते हैं सो so, नीचे आना मतलब क्या थीटा इंक्रीज होना तो थीटा इंक्रीज तो हो सकता है थीटा कम नहीं जा सकता एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज थीटा मिनिमम हेयर क्या ये लाइन नीचे आ सकती है आ सकती है मतलब थीटा कम हो सकता है हो सकता है बट के क्या लाइन ऊपर जा सकती है नहीं तो क्या थीटा बढ़ सकता है नहीं सो दैट्स वाई इट इज थीटा मैक्सिमम ग्राफ है ना यार ग्राफ से देखना है रटना थोड़ी ना ओके गाइस दैट इज अ पावर ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन यार इफ डिस्टिलेशन इज नोन टू यू देन एवरीथिंग एल्स इज नोन टू यू So let's solve the same question by using the concept of optimization. What is the equilibrium line? Y equals to two x. How much is x f? One by four. How much is x r? One by forty. How much is y s? Zero. So we have one point x r y s. What to do? Calculate the corresponding value. So what is y e star? Y e star will be twice of one by four. So twice of one by four is one by two. So you have that value. You have the point. Okay. Join it. Basically, it's a dotted line. Go. Because there is no line. ये सर हम वाई की वैल्यू डिटरमाइन कर रहे हैं ठीक है ये लाइन नहीं है यहां हम वाई की वैल्यू डिटरमाइन कर रहे हैं ये लाइन है दिस इज द ऑपरेटिंग लाइन ओके एंड व्हाट इज द स्लोप 
वन बाय टू माइनस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय वन बाय फोर माइनस वन बाय फोर्टी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू आर एस बाय ई एस मिनिमम सो दैट इज वन बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन बाय फोर्टी इक्वल टू एट हंड्रेड बाय ई एस मिनिमम which means this becomes 20 by 9 so es minimum is equals to 800 into 9 by 20 14 into 9 360 so es minimum is just 360 so what is es optimum es optimum is 1.5 times the es minimum that comes out to be 540 540 kg per hour so that means from 1 by 4 to 1 by 40 90% of separation you can achieve even in 540 kg per hour 540 kg mein bhi 90% separation achieve hoti hai so no need to use 3600 when you can do the same separation in 540 kg per hour what is the need to use the 3600 kg per hour so that is optimization so that's why i asked what is more important equilibrium or desired separation desired separation desired separation is more important so we're getting the desired separation as 540 so above 540 you will not separate more hai na 90% separation can be achieved the amount 3600 is just used to set the equilibrium data to verify the equilibrium data because equilibrium data is y is equals to 2x and if you want to verify that equilibrium data you have to use 3600 kg per hour of solvent so that is just used to uh, satisfy the equilibrium data nothing else the actual separation can be obtained at 540 so in the industry we never use the equilibrium approach we always use this optimization approach but in the gate remember in the gate exam optimization approach is used only when mentioned agar unhone bola hai optimization se karo to karna otherwise equilibrium se hi karna hai okay so write down this point very very important that in the gate exam in the gate exam solving the question by optimization approach in the gate exam solving the question in the optimization by the optimization approach solving the question by the optimization approach okay utkarsh kya bol raha hai why e star is not clear it can't be achieved yes utkarsh it can't be achieved and that is what i written here it's a theoretical value that never exist in reality but mathematically correct ये मैथमेटिकली करेक्ट है बस वट इज मैथमेटिक्स मैथमेटिक्स इज वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स इफ यू पुट एक्स एज वन बाय फोर वट इज वाई वन बाय टू सो दैट वन बाय टू वैल्यू इज ए मैथमेटिकल वैल्यू सो दिस वन बाय टू इज ए मैथमेटिकल वैल्यू इट डज नॉट हैव एनी फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस इट डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट इन रियालिटी इट इज जस्ट ए मैथमेटिकल वैल्यू हैविंग ए थोरेटिकल नेम वाई स्टार ओके दिस डज नॉट हैव टू डू विद रियालिटी इसका वास्तविकता से कोई लेना देना नहीं है ये सिर्फ एक मैथमेटिकल वैल्यू है विच इज यूज्ड फॉर दिस कैलकुलेशन और मैथमेटिकली करेक्ट होने की वजह से जो भी आंसर आएगा दैट इज मैथमेटिकली करेक्ट सो इट इज जस्ट मैथमेटिकल वैल्यू ओके सर वाई स्टार एन एक्से फॉर एन इक्विब्रियम वाई स्टार एन एक्से फॉर एन इक्विब्रियम हाउ अरे भाई अभी तो तुम चने बेच रहे थे क्या मैंने क्या बोला था यहाँ पे विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एफ वी डिटरमाइन ए पॉइंट एट इक्विब्रियम लाइक इन दैट डिस्टिलेशन वी डिड ना विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एफ वी डिटरमाइन ए पॉइंट एट द इक्विब्रियम निकाला था ना उसके बाद ज्वाइन किया था फीड लाइन इंटरसेक्ट द इक्विब्रियम एंड देन वी ज्वाइन इट सेम हेयर 
with respect to xf we determined a point at equilibrium and then we joined this point with that point yahi to samjhaya bhi with respect to xf we calculate a point at the equilibrium we get the point and we join yahi to tarika hai yeah that was x dash y dash and this was this is x f and y e star hai na usme bhi sharanga jo x dash tha x dash ki value kya thi x f to thi tell me what is x dash don't you think x dash is x f are buddhu x dash ki value x f nahi thi kya ha so yahan bhi x dash ki value kya hai x f hai here also the x dash is x f and what is y dash there y dash is an equilibrium value with respect to x f here also y e star is equilibrium value with respect to x f so distillation agar aati hai na to ye aata hai bhai agar yahan doubt hai to matlab distillation mein doubt hai simple okay so in the gate question solving the question by using the optimization approach is a choice not compulsion solving the question by using the optimization approach is a choice not compulsion solving the question by using the optimization approach is a choice not compulsion yeah different notations abhi bhi clear nahi hai shranga ketan jitne bhi aap log ho aapko lag raha hai aapko clear hai kisi ko clear nahi hai जब तक आप इस ग्राफ को घर जाके पांच छह बार नहीं बना लोगे तब तक क्लियर नहीं होगा ये तुम्हें क्या लगता है ये मैंने समझा दिया तुमने समझ लिया इतना आसान है क्या इतना आसान नहीं है भाई यू हैव टू मेक इट अगेन एंड अगेन रिवाइज एवरी डे दो तीन दिन लगातार बनाओगे तो समझ आएगा नहीं तो कभी समझ नहीं आएगा सो अगर आपको लग रहा है कि क्लियर हो गया है लेट मी टेल यू क्लियर नहीं है घर जाके जब तक प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे कुछ समझ नहीं आएगा ठीक है making graph is very easy but only when you understood the concept but on the first time you haven't you cannot understood the concept yaar mujhe khud kai saal lage in graphon ko in graph ko acche se samajhne mein tum ek baar mein nahi samajh paoge to aapko revise karna padega ghar ja ke ab dil ki baat nikal kar aa rahi hai tishay singh yes confused me also <laughs> okay so solving the question by the approach of optimization is a choice not compulsion and is used only when it is mentioned in the gate and used and is used only when it is mentioned in the gate <laughs> 3600 turn to 360 <laughs> that is a power of optimization ketan this is the power of optimization and don't look at 360 look at 540 540 is the actual value that you will use and it is used only when mentioned in the gate exam so question mein mention hoga to hi karna hai and by what word they will mention it they can use the word optimization optimal minimal minimum optimization optimal minimum minimal minimum or min minimal अधिशा सोलवेंट वेस्ट नहीं करते इंडस्ट्री में कभी इक्विब्रियम अप्रोच यूज नहीं करते ये सिर्फ हमारे सिलेबस में इसलिए मैं करवा रहा हूं इन द इंडस्ट्री दे विल नेवर यूज 3600, दे ऑलवेज यूज 540। इंडस्ट्री गाइस मे बी डोंट नो द इक्विब्रियम अप्रोच बिकॉज फ्रॉम द डे वन दे यूज टू लर्न द ऑप्टिमाइज अप्रोच ओके सो दो दे डोंट नो अबाउट थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड दे नो ओनली अबाउट फाइव एंड फाइव इज ऑल्सो मोर टू देम ठीक है 540 फोर्टी भी उनके लिए ज्यादा है 540 फोर्टी दे से फाइव फोर्टी के जी पर आर इट्स टू मच एंड दैट्स वाई टू रिड्यूस द रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम फाइव फोर्टी टू लेस दे यूज मोर देन वन स्टेज दिस इज जस्ट वन स्टेज बट इफ सीरीज ऑफ स्टेज आर यूज है ना देन यू इंक्रीज द पोटेंशियल एंड इन टर्न यू कैन डिक्रीज द अमाउंट सो फाइव फोर्टी इज ऑल्सो मोर सो दे डिक्रीज इट बाई यूजिंग द मोर स्टेजेस थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड अगर करना होता तो एक्सट्रैक्शन से जो जो चीजें बनती है वो बहुत महंगी होती यस श्रीरंगा द कॉस्ट स्पेंड ऑन द स्टेज ऑल्सो मैटर्स 
so that's why the multiple stages are, are used only when the solvent is very costly if the solvent is very very costly then you use the number of stage in series but if the solvent is not that costly you can do it by single stage also then note down the kramser equation Kramser equation. Oh, yeah, Shringa, who is that? It's not a doubt. You are just sharing what what you know. सोलवेंट जो हमें यूज करना चाहिए वट करेक्टरिस्टिक इट मस्ट हैव अतिश आई टोल्ड यू एस्टर डे इट मस्ट है वेरी हाई मिसेबिलिटी विद सोल्यूट एंड इट मस्ट बी हैविंग ए डिफरेंस इन द वेपर प्रेशर देन द सोल्यूट गेट में आया था उस पर क्वेश्चन हाँ पता है मुझे तीन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स हम पढ़ चुके ऑलरेडी इट मस्ट बी हाईली मिसेबल इन द सोल्यूट इट मस्ट बी हैविंग ए हाई वेपर प्रेशर डिफरेंस विद द सोल्यूट and it must be having a good partition coefficient because if partition coefficient is more solvent requirement is less so teen characteristics tum pad chuke hai theek hai aur baki jo ek bachi hai wo main bhi padhane wala hu so write down the kramser equation if the separation achieved in the mixer settler arrangement if the separation achieved in the mixer settler arrangement is same as if the separation achieved in the mixer settler arrangement is same as if the separation achieved in the mixer settler arrangement is same as the separation that is achieved is same as the separation that is achieved if we use a trait r is same as the separation that can be achieved if we use the trait r is same as the separation that can be achieved if we use the trait r then the number of ideal trays required then the number of ideal trays required to achieve that then the number of ideal trace required to achieve that can be calculated by the kramser equation then the number of ideal stages required to achieve that can be calculated by the kramser equation can be calculated by the kramser equation can be calculated by the kramser equation so what is the meaning the meaning is there is a stage this is rs xf this is rs xr this is es ys this is es ye this is a mixer settler arrangement but what i do if i replace it with a trait r Having trace one, two, three, and eth. Okay, if there is a trait R, then the stream that is entering will be R S X naught Y naught entering to one. This will be R S X N Y X N leaving from an eth. This is E S Y N plus one Y Y N plus one. Entering to an eth. This is E S Y one by Y one leaving from first. So this is the mixer settler arrangement. This is the corresponding trait R. So the separation achieved in the mixer settler, which is from X F to X R, is same as the separation achieved in the this trait R, which is X not to X N. Then the number of trays used 
विल बी ये कैलकुलेटेड बाय द क्रेमसर इक्वेशन ठीक है तो क्या ध्यान रखना है कि जो एक्स नोट है वो एक्स एफ है जो एक्स आर है वो एक्स एन है इन द सेम वे द वाई एस इज सेम एज वाई एन प्लस वन एंड द वाई ई इज सेम एज वाई वन so this the notation is different the values are same so same values then the number of trays can be calculated by using the kramser kramser se number of tray aa jayegi Okay, so the number of trays will can be calculated as ln of so that is known as the kramser equation where a is known as the slope of operating line to the slope of equilibrium line and it is known as extraction factor so extraction mein se bolte extraction factor and absorption mein bolte hai absorption factor so that is known as the kramser itne sare formula kaise yaad karenge aapne kaise kiya kabhi fans ke kabhi kramser bar bar likh ke tisha bar bar likh ke likhta gaya likhta gaya likhta gaya yaad hota gaya hota gaya so ek formula page bana lo formula page pe sare formula likh lo उन्हें बार बार लिख लिख के देखो हो जाएगा एम क्या है एम क्या है बाकियों को किसी को पता है व्हाट इज एम या सबको डाउट है कि एम क्या है याद आ गया ओके बताओ फिर याद आ गया तो क्या है एम व्हाट इज एम स्लोप ऑफ द इक्म लाइन वेरी गुड स्लोप ऑफ द इक्म लाइन and if the extraction factor becomes 1 this formula fails so when extraction factor becomes 1 then n can be calculated as x not minus xn divided by xn minus yn plus 1 by n so when extraction factor becomes 1 the above formula fails and reduce to this so a equals to 10 theta divide 10 theta optimum by m shriranga slope of operating line is not 10 theta it is rs by es guys slope of operating line is rs by es and obviously es is es optimum okay So according to the given data, same question की बात करें What is x not वन by फोर What is xn एन वन बाय फोर्टी वट इज वाई एन प्लस वन जीरो वट इज एम टू वट इज आर एस एट हंड्रेड वट इज ई एस फाइव फोर्टी वट इज एम टू 
everything is known tell me what is n fast how much trays are required every data is known tell me how many trays are required same data फोर ट्रेस तो आंसर फोर आ रहा है ओके गुड So there is one another property of the solvent that is very important to us, and that is known as the solvent selectivity. I told you three already. It must be very highly miscible with the solute. It must be having high vapor pressure difference with the solute. It must be having a good value or high value of partition coefficient so that the requirement is less. And another is the solvent selectivity. Which is known as the C by A in the extract to the C by A in the refinate. So that is the formula for solvent selectivity. C by A in the extract to the C by A in the refinate. रेफिनेट में केतन पूछे रेफिनेट में ए रेफिनेट में तो ए ही होता है अगर तुम बोलते हैं एक्सट्रैक्ट में ए या एक्सट्रैक्ट में ए ठीक है तो सॉल्वेंट सिलेक्टिविटी बेसिकली इन सब कंडीशंस के लिए नहीं है वो जो हमने कल डायग्राम पढ़ा था उसके लिए है दैट इफ सम डायग्राम इज गिवन टू यू 
and that is your tie line okay so what you do you determine c by a here you determine c by a here okay and then you put it here and calculate the selectivity so i told you in the last how to determine the a b c at these points so at this point calculate c by a at this point calculate c by a put it there and calculate selectivity okay ketan it is for the equilateral triangular diagram ठीक है एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक इज नोन एज द रिडक्शन रेशो रिडक्शन रेशो सो फॉर द क्रॉस करंट एक्सट्रैक्शन फॉर द क्रॉस करंट एक्सट्रैक्शन रिडक्शन रेशो एक्स नॉट बाय एक्स एन इज इक्वल्स टू वन प्लस एम Ps by Rs to the power n, where n is the number of stages for cross current cascades. Number of cross current stages. so when more than one stage is used then we can use this formula baki sab aapko pata hi hoga x not is c by a fed to the first stage and xn is the c by a that is obtained from the nth stage baki es rs and all of you know Similarly, there is a formula for the counter current also, but that is very cumbersome, and that's why I am not going to write it down because that is not important for the gate. Okay, Atisha is asking, it is ES or ES optimum? Okay, Atisha and all of the students, this formula is based on. the equilibrium approach ye equilibrium approach pe based hai so equilibrium approach mein to koi es mean ya es optimum nahi hota in the equilibrium approach to es es hota hai so if you use one stage the es is 3600 if you use three stages then how much es you can calculate If the ninety percent separation you are achieving by three stages, then what? What is x naught? One by four. What is x n? One by forty. What is m two? E s you want to find r s eight hundred n three. You can calculate. If you use three stage for the same separation, then what is the amount of e s required? You can calculate. What is the significance of reduction ratio? Reduction ratio formula tells us the amount of solvent required when more than one stages are used. Reduction ratio formula tells us or helps us to calculate the amount of solvent required when more than one stages are used. Okay, so how much is ES from this? कितना ES आ रहा है?
So, Atisha have the answer of 481, 461.77. Atisha, whatever is the answer, multiply that with 3. Let's go 3 and multiply it. So this formula will give you the ES required for a stage. But if three stages are used, then the same ES will be used three times. So the total requirement of the solvent will be total requirement of solvent will be N times ES. So whatever the ES you get from this, just multiply by three and you will have your answer. Okay, so if you use one stage, you will require 3600, but if you use three stages, you will require 1385. So that is a significance of reduction ratio. It helps you to tell the amount of solvent used when more than one stages are used. Okay, so whatever we studied today is very, very important. And there will be a two marks portion for sure every year from the extraction. So revise the today's lecture effectively. And then if you get the time, you can solve all the previous years of the gate extraction. Jitne bhi gate mein extraction ke previous years aai hai, ab chaho to sab solve kar sakte ho. But yes, before that, revise it. Achche se revise kar lena. And then you can solve all the previous years. Yes, Atisha. Easy na? Kaafi easy da? ब्रेक प्लीज 30 मिनट का दीजिए ग्रुप में लिख दो क्या तुम अब मैं नहीं दे सकता बट अगर ऊपर मैनेजमेंट दे देगी तो मिल जाएगा अब ग्रुप में लिख दो ठीक है ये क्लास लेट क्लास प्लीज 30 मिनट के बाद स्टार्ट करिएगा थैंक यू ठीक है तो कल मिलते हैं एब्जॉर्प्शन के साथ टिल देन बाय बाय थैंक यू